right, welcome back. Well, uh, you know, there's something to be said about being active, and that's what our next segment by Sarah is about. It's about uh, Active Cambridge's uh, uh, new initiative. There's some skating involved with, uh, with somebody who might know something about skating, but uh, that's why we have Sarah Monette. She's going to tell us more. Take it away, Sarah Monette. Whoa, miss. Hey, everybody. It's Andy from Active Cambridge here. And if you're like me, you're feeling rather Olympic, something that's galvanizing our community and our country. And I'm really excited here today because we're out in anywhere Canada. We're actually at the corner of Grand Ridge and Cedar Street on a stormwater pond, but there's ponds like this all over the community. And I bet you, if you're like most of us, you've driven by them, but you haven't come out and actually given it a shot. The Olympic values include hope and excellence. And the excellence that we're talking about is personal excellence which means that if you've never tried it before and today you come out and give it a shot, that's one step in the right direction. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm not really a skater. I have to share it with you. I'm a Canadian non-skater. So I've brought with me one of my friends, Suzanne's, Dr. Suzanne Scott, so she can fix me up when I fall down, who is a former national figure skater and is gonna show me how to do everything, how to tie up my skates, how to skate around, how to fall, hopefully how to do some tricks and maybe play some games. So skating is one of the great Canadian activities and for those people who need a further excuse it also burns up to 500 calories an hour. So if you want to get out there and give it a try that's awesome. The other thing that you can consider as well is that so many of our Olympians that were walking on TV or watching on TV have been inspired by this kind of grassroots involvement. A grandparent, a parent, a friend taking them out on a local ski hill or a pond and look where they are now. So excellence is inside all of us and if, just give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in Suzanne and we'll see how it goes. And she's gonna come flying in as well. Da -la 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 -la. All right, I'm here with Suzanne Scott. Hello. Suzanne's <laughs> humble but started on a backyard pond at two years old and rose to the national ranks of figure skating and to this day is still involved as a team chiropractor, correct? Correct and skating with her two beautiful daughters out on ponds just like this. So what we're gonna do today, now if I've never skated before, I've skated a little bit, but if I've never skated before, where do I start? Well, I would say uh, what kind of skates to get if you're interested in hockey or figure skating, speed skating. So uh, probably to go to a sports uh, uh, store and check it out. Is mooching skates off your brother-in-law a good idea? Ah, oh, very good, yes. Okay, because that's what I did. I got <laughs> free skates for my brother-in-law, so we're gonna give it a shot. All right, there are some basics to skating, which Suzanne and I are gonna go over. And uh, we'll start with, after I've got my shoes on, uh, actually, they're skates, again, okay. <laughs> after I've got my skates on, uh, how I actually get started. So one of the first things we wanna cover is if you do end up on the ice, how we get back up. So we have our first technique was an all fours technique, right? Right, right. So when you're on all fours, your hands and knees, then you, what you would do is you would put one foot between your, your hands, put the other foot between your hands, and then push up with your legs. And then the second one, do you want me to do the yeah. second? Second way would be uh, just to put one foot up and, uh, or one blade up, and then you'll put your hand on your knees and then push, push up from your leg. Great, so we've covered our safety and now it's time to get moving. So there's a couple of ways that I can actually propel myself across the ice. And the first being the march. Was it the march? Yep, the march. Yeah, you just march on the ice, forward and glide, and then march and then glide, or walking. Uh, and then glide, then walk and glide. Yep. And then I think we covered the scooter. Oh yeah, the scooter is a good one, right? So then you're just pretending to that you're on a scooter and you're oh, okay. pushing with the one leg and get that perfected and then you work on the other leg and then uh, if you get that perfected then you do both at, not at the same time, alternating. Okay. One and then the other. The alternate scooter, okay. And then now we've been moving across and we have the option of running into the camera person, running into Sarah, hitting a snowbank, hanging onto a parent, running into the boards, or we have other proper skating stopping <laughs> techniques. Correct. So you got the snow plow and that would be, uh, uh, just imagine that you have a snow plow in front of a truck and then you're just putting your feet in that same kind of position at 45 degree angles. So you can do one foot uh, stopping or both at the same time. It's easier to do the one foot. Yep. Does it work if I imagine pizza instead of a snow plow? Oh, very good idea. Yes. Yeah. Pie, cake. <laughs> Triangles. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, the other method was, I forget. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and you did that very well, by the way. So, yeah, you can just turn the one foot sideways, uh, about 45 degree angle. Yeah. 
or else there's a T stop. So you put your feet in a T. So the front foot is straight and then the back foot is in a T and then you can stop that way, but that's kind of harder. Okay, and then we attempted the backwards uh, skating. <laughs> and that didn't go as good, but we started with a couple of different methods for that as well. Right, right. So uh, what you can do is like the twist or you can just turn your bum back and forth. Uh, or the other way would be the swizzle or the fish and you're just making your, your feet uh, in that position as a bubble. Yep. Once again, Andy from Active Cambridge here with Suzanne Scott. And uh, it's, it's, it was really fun. Getting out on the ice is a great way. And remember, the whole Olympic spirit is just taking a step in the direction of personal excellence. And that's challenging your limits, doing something different. And today is a new day. So we still got four weeks of winter left, according to the groundhog. So there's a great chance to get out and try some of these local ponds. So uh, stay active, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge. And we'll see you next month with our next segment. I'm going to skate off into the sunset. So I'll let Suzanne sing us out or something. <laughs> All right. Look at him go! He's a professional! <laughs> I don't know that Andy will be taking over Scott Moyer's position in the ice dance competition uh, anytime up. soon, but he probably has inspired a whole bunch of kids to and get it, out there and, and give it a try. And, and again, I, I have to clarify, that was not Sarah Monette. If you thought that Sarah <laughs> Monette all of a sudden needed to go see an electrolysis, <laughs> do, do some unruly facial hair, uh, no, that was Andy with Active Living, so I stand corrected. But yes, I don't think he'll be competing for, for Canada anytime soon in, in artistic, uh, no, figure skating. No. But we all know that, especially tonight, because the ice dance competition mm -hmm. comes up tonight and Canada's pose, posed for gold. Mm -hmm. With that type of attention on the sport, all of a sudden there are a lot of people that are interested in it and wanting to get out there and skate. Absolutely. So, and it doesn't just have to be the kids, it no. can be the adults. And too. what I would I, what I like to, one of the finishing thoughts that Andy had was, was to challenge your limits. Uh, you know, every day's a new day. And, you know, there's a man <laughs> who never really uh, ice skated and he's out there so uh skating always challenges my limits <laughs> as my daughter told me when i come from a family of, of hockey players mm -hmm. mom you're the lousiest skater in the family now and I said, you're absolutely right honey but who knows i might learn to stop without boards you're sometimes. the one making ice angels right Over exactly in the very good very good all right we're back with more in daytime in a moment stay with us